Hi, welcome to another episode. As you can see, we're back at our test station. We're gonna do a second shoot of barb breaking. The first shoot was just showing the load barbs could take under normal situations. And uh, most of it was around 200 kgs. We have had a few incidences where barbs have ripped off. Now, if you consider the mono crimped, is about 100 to 120 kilos brake strain, then we shouldn't be able to rip a barb off that can handle 200 kilos. The times it seems to have been damaged or ripped off is in big tuna, mainly the dog tooth tuners. Those 60 kilos plus, um, they're very strong and obviously create a massive load against the spear. We theorize that it's to do with the spacing in the rays in the actual spinal column and the bones coming out. If that spear hooks in that zone there, you have a much greater leverage against the barb. It doesn't happen all times. And if a person shoots from directly above, they tend to land them most of the time if the rest of the gear doesn't fail. But a side on shot where the barb hooks up in this zone, it seems to create much more stress as uh, the longer the lever, the more ability you have to break that joint. What we're gonna do now is brake test two barbs, one where it's supported only in the middle and the second one right on the end. And we'll see how low that goes. So here we go, we're gonna pull with the barb only supported at about 50% along its length. That slipped out. That first one slipped out. It has stressed the barb to a small degree. Hasn't broken off yet. I'm gonna load it again and see. Pulling it at a slightly different angle. Hopefully it stays in place. Now that's gonna slip off again. Okay, third time lucky, first two slipped. We've taken out the rubber, it's just pulling against the block. Let's see what happens now. Also at about 50% along the barb. Again, that slipped out, but as you can see, it has stressed the barb quite considerably, and that was around 70 odd kilos. We'll try another one, and we'll load it even further along, simulating the position it's in. As you can see, it can quite easily destroy it if you hook on the barb at a much further away from the spear. Let's set up another one. We modified the jig quite considerably, the spear that's in here is our standard spear, unplated, so it's exactly the same tentile strength. Barb is exactly the same, but now it's set much closer to the edge. This should go even less than the previous one. Let's see how that does. deforming at 40 kilos from what I can see. Yeah, that's deformed enough to slip out of a fish. There you go, beyond 90 degrees. And uh, again, a lot less. So yes, there are disadvantages of a barbed spear a lot easier to use and definitely can be an issue in a fish with a really large fish like big tuna that have very splayed spinal rays there you have another test video <laughs> 